Thanks for visiting our website. Behind me is the Baylor Sciences Building, which is our home. I'm Stacy Ashley, Professor of Geosciences. And over the next several minutes, you're gonna visit with a number of people who are gonna inform you about our program. We're excited about our projects, our facilities, and our relationships, and hope that that excitement is contagious. Enjoy the video. Initially, um, when I was searching for my master's program, I um, just looked for ones that had my program and what I was interested in, and the department here had what I was interested in, so that was the initial draw, but it really wasn't until I came to visit that I was like, wait, this place is like really cool, and just, they, they you're not just a student, a, like a person that's gonna come in, they actually like see you as like a human being, not just an application. So I really was drawn to that. The geology department in particular is so like caring, like people care about you as a person. I and mean, Dr. actually told me this when I came and visited as a student. He said, I care about the research because that's important, but I care about the student first as a person. And so that really stuck with me. I feel like we have a really tight-knit program. And we're, we're smaller, but like all the graduate students, we always, I mean, we all know each other. And I feel like all the professors here have a very like open door policy. Like they're always very willing to help and they're very involved. It, it sounds so corny. It does kind of feel like a family because I know that we are all, are all looking out for each other and it is kind of fun to learn things way outside of my field. I, um, some of my closest friends while I've been here have been petroleum geologists. I don't know anything about petroleum geology, but I'm always interested to see what they're doing. You know, one of the things about Baylor that makes it unique is the fact that you have a much smaller class size. So the, you know, grad student to professor ratios are relatively low when compared to other schools like, you know, UT or A&M. So it really puts you at a strategic advantage in that you're able to get a lot of time with your advisor. So you're able to spend a considerable amount of time side by side developing with your advisor, you know, uh, collaborating on ideas, you know, fleshing those ideas out and whatnot. If you are looking into a relatively small um, university that has all the resources you could ever want, Baylor's a really good fit for that. I've never felt like I was missing out on an opportunity that, oh, I should have been in a bigger program. Um, I have everything that I ever need and if I don't have it, we can get it very easily. The VSB is amazing. Any kind of analysis you want to do, basically we can do it or there's someone in another department who can do it. It's really nice actually having all of the sciences here in one building. Uh, we've got e &V down the hall, there's chemistry, physics, bio, um, and sometimes they'll have more specialized equipment that we can use or we'll have more specialized equipment that they can use if they need it. Um, so there's really a lot of communication, not just within the department, but with all of the other sciences in the building. Uh, the facilities are great. We've got this state-of-the-art scanning electron microscope downstairs that we can go, you know, sign up for time for and get trained on. It's really nice being able to just, you know, take your set of samples down the hall and say, hey, this is what I have to work with, this is what I'd like to do, what are some things that um, we could get going. I didn't think I would learn as many instruments and skills that I have been able to do at Baylor. I've been able to learn gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, um, EA analysis, elemental analysis, uh, different solvent extractions, just really things I didn't even know existed, I was able to learn here. I feel like there's a really big emphasis on training the graduate students how to run the machines themselves. Uh, so my, my last professor, Dr. Dworkin, who I did my master's under, I, I feel like that's his like, favorite thing in the world is to just like, teach the students on how to run all, these, all this analytical pool equipment. So a lot of the equipment that is available here for our geoscientists, I mean, if you want to try to learn how to use it, we are, those professors are always very willing and able to, to do that. There's two types of funding for graduate students. There's TAs, which is a teaching assistantship, which is what most graduate students are on. So I'm teaching uh, physical geology, so I have two labs um, throughout the semester where I'm the lab instructor. Um, and then the other assistantship is the research assistantship, in which you essentially get paid to do research. So our graduate program, uh, right now we have both a master's program and a PhD program. And uh, we currently have about a third of our students are master's students and about two thirds are PhD students. 
For our master's program, our students are guaranteed two years of funding, and our PhD program students are guaranteed five years of funding. So there's none of this jockeying for, you know, the two fellowships that are open this year. Everybody has one, and everybody has one guaranteed for the length of time that it should take you to finish, uh, which is really nice. We get health insurance, <laughs> um, which is pretty amazing. This is one of the programs that the amount of money that we get as a stipend and the amount of money that it costs to live in Waco totally match up really well. Also there's a GRG, a graduate research grant that the geology department does and so that kind of helps offset our costs when I like go to Canada to do all my data collection. So if you want to go into academia I think um, the two main things you need to focus on is well one doing really good research and two is presenting that research and Baylor's uh, graduate school as well as the geology department offer a number of um, funding opportunities to encourage students to go go to those conferences um, to publish papers in um, peer-reviewed journals which I think is pretty beneficial. So there's a lot of different options for graduate students whether they want to do field work. So my professor Dr. Ashley has like a field course, a graduate field course that we will all be going on in the summer. Um, there's also, all the professors have their own individual labs, and so you, if you want to do the lab route, there's that as well. And if you, you know, want to go out into the field and look at some rocks and describe the stuff, you can totally do that. If you want to take it back and do some analyses on that, that's open to us. And I think that's really cool because there's not, um, those labs are open and it's, there's not so many people that you can't get in to get your analyses done if you want. So I think that's really cool too. I have all of the support I could ever want and just talking to the faculty here, they're interested in what I do and they want to help me. So if you're not sure, like you just have to come to Baylor and just talk to people and you will feel like this is exactly where I belong. We're really excited that you're interested in our program and if you have any questions, check out the website or um, send us an email. You can send me an email or you can give us a call and we'd be happy to answer any questions you have about our program or about the application process. So thanks for watching and we hope you'll consider applying to our program. To do so, visit the application link on our homepage.